Hey guys, it's me, the American, and today we have Lyft Coffee, only served on Southwest Airlines flights. This is a signature coffee, 100% Arabica beans, smooth, freshly brewed, and mountain grown, hand picked, of course. Southwest Airlines probably donates to the Green Energy Improved Project. Drink our coffee and lift others. Alright, well, thanks guys. I'm going to go ahead and try some of this. It's a real stout coffee. Hmm. Got a good single punch to it. Aftertaste is almost non-existent. They use a type of uh, like purified water. I don't know if it's spring or distilled, but I'll tell you what, it tastes pretty good. Closest coffee that I can compare it to would be a Folgers Dark Roast or a Farmer's Brothers brand coffee. Uh, it tastes like it does have a slight blend of two different types of uh, Arabica beans, but um, I really can't find out the other type of bean. But I will say, if I had to say, you know, what coffee it tastes closer to, would be the Folgers Dark Roast type of blends. Alright guys, well, that's a quick review of the Lyft Coffee. That's the mayor. Subscribe, and thanks for watching. So right here, you know another thing about this coffee? Makes all your fears go away. See, I drank the whole cup. I used to be claustrophobic, and my heart would start racing. I had palpitations getting on the plane, but when you drink this, I don't know what it does. It kind of calms you down. Might have some type of, like, a sedative or laxative or what is it called? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know what it is, but I love it. Yep, all that claustrophobia, arachnid, you know. What was it? What was that movie again? Snakes on a plane, or was it spiders on a plane? No. Crazy monkeys on a plane. Crazy monkeys on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, folks, are we dimming the lights again? Uh oh. Can use additional reading light. There's a fuzzy light bulb up there. They are dimming the lights. I might need another cup of this coffee. Here you go, Mayor. You can have mine. Oh, thanks. Now I will be cured of all of my flying diseases and pestilences. Phobias. Oh man, it got really dark in here. And if you look to your right, passengers, you will definitely see UFOs. Oh man, there's one right there. There it is. There's the UFO. Yeah, I saw some other flashing light over there. You know, they need to have, like, a, like a plane. They need to have a plane that has, like, all the seats removed, and then they have that MMA fighter thing to where the plane, like, free, flaw, free falls, and, and then they fight each other. And they only have, like, one minute of free fall to, like, knock each other out. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I think that's awesome. You think that's awesome? And then they should have, like, another thing to where the flight has, like, no chairs. Uh, well, no, no, okay, never mind. It has chairs, but you, there's only four beds in the back. And then passengers get, like, you know, when you take your seatbelts off, they get to fight. Like, physically and, like, mentally, mental powers against each other. I would only leave every third row of chairs, yeah. Every third row of chairs? Yeah, obstacle course. Obstacle course to make it to the back where all the, where the four beds, only four. You only get four. You know, that kind of brings up the question. They should have a section in the back that they take out... No, they take out the tent for the crew. Where they should take out some chairs and, like, hire some, like, flying, like, masseuse chicks or guys or something. And then they can, like, massage you while the flight is going. And then when they strap you in, they have to, like, strap your whole body into that device. Kitty playground. A kitty playground in yeah, the back. Yeah, play area. I don't there know about go. that. Yeah, with a ball pit... And, uh, a ball pit in the swing. back. I'd have a swing. And You'd a have slide. No. Imagine the slide on the landing. You could man. slide, man. Yeah. Zero gravity. Zero gravity slide. I don't know about that. That, that seems a little bit too excessive there. I'd pay to ride that thing. No. no. Yeah, I'd pay know. to watch somebody slide on it. I don't know. Well, you know, another thing I was always thinking was, why don't they have, like, glass bottoms or, like, you know, plastic floors to where you can see through them? Yeah, that's a good idea. Glass roof top. Glass roof, yes. 
Yeah. So you can easy, you can see UFOs easier. You can see these little windows right here. I mean, you can't even see nothing. I'm looking down at the ground. I can't see nothing. I'm looking up in space, and all I see is UFOs flying around. That's all I can see. There's just a, a couple of UFOs, and that's it. I want to see more. Look, see, there's a couple right there. They're just trailing us. See, that's not good. They should have an antenna on top of the plane. That, that's like a alien deterrent. What do you think? And streamers on the ends yes. of the wings. Yes, streamers would help deter aliens. I had that, some on yes. a bicycle. On the top. guy from Ancient Aliens with that hair told me that it would help with the alien, the streamers. I think it disrupts their, their mental telepathy. Yes, yes. In the next tape, in the next chair. Yeah, I know. But, you know, they should have, like, a plug-in thing on our seats, kind of like the Matrix. To where you could, like, you know, like, you sit back, yeah, and then you, like, plug into the Matrix, and then you're, like, flying around. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, you're actually in a virtual world, but you're in a real plane, so it feels real, but it's not. So it really sucked, yeah, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't really suck. It'd be like a computer game, but more realistic. Because it'd be plugging into your, you know, spinal cord and your veins and all that. It'd realistically suck. Yeah, see, that's another thing I'd like to see. Like, when you go to the restroom and the toilet, that the bottom of the toilet would actually open up, and then you could visually inspect the city that's beneath you before you, like, drop, you know, I don't know. What do you think? If it's a city you don't like, I mean, that'd be a good thing. You'd have to time it. You'd have to time, yes, exactly. Timing is everything. Timing is everything on a plane. So you'd have to have, like, some kind of Norton bombsite on it. <laughs> a bombsite on the laboratory. That yeah. is the best thing I've ever heard in my life. Because you could wait. You could wait. You could time it. Yeah, you could time it. That's, why, that's why the pilot should always say, oh, we're now entering. Wisconsin or something. Yeah, Wisconsin. It's like, hey, I know a guy named Steve in Wisconsin. He's, oh, man, I hate that guy, Steve. He's driving that yellow bumblebee, what, Camaro-looking thing. And you're going to fly right over his house. Yes, yes. Yeah, and it even has, like, GPS coordinates and everything. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, also, I think on planes that they should sell you, like, a shot thing for five bucks. Like, it's a heavy dose of, like, I guess, uh, insulin that knock you out. What do you think about that? Laudanum's more like it. <laughs> Laudanum. <laughs> or Thorazine. Thorazine, that's not good. You could do the Thorazine shuffle all down the aisle. <laughs> another good question, another good question on a plane is, why don't they have parachutes for everybody? Why is that? Well, I think it comes with some type of uh, value system. <laughs> it's just cheaper not to equip the airplane with parachutes? No, they just really just don't care. They just don't care. I don't know about that. I mean, well, they already have your money, so... Yeah. They might as well. It's not refundable. Yeah, unless if they just place a lot of faith into the pilots, you know? Well, if they don't give you a parachute in after the fact, you're not going to complain. Yeah, true. It's like, ah, oh, <laughs> that's right. I didn't pay for the parachute upgrade. Ah. <laughs> That's why you should always go first class. First class has the parachutes, and they have the life raft. Yeah, but no shark repellent. No shark repellent. 